What's up YouTube, Koi51 here, time for another video and it's a little bit of like a follow-up video to what I just released recently but it's, again it's a Dissidia video but this one's kind of important because this could open up a lot of doors and a lot of possibilities that we never really thought about. So we knew and uh, we already know that in Dissidia Final Fantasy, the upcoming game developed by, now we know, Team Ninja, uh, we include uh, staple characters that we already know that we've already seen in the trailers Terra, Cloud and Lightning but one character that was not really shown in any trailers and was only really announced on stage was the inclusion of a character that a lot of people would either know or not know uh, me I kind of like I know him but I haven't actually played the game yet which is Ramza from Final Fantasy Tactics uh, depending on which version you played, either the original or the PSP uh, version, I think it was War of the Lions, I'm not 100% sure on that name, but I think it was that one. Uh, and essentially, uh, Ramza, like, it, it brings up another discussion, uh, like, which I'll go into a little bit later. Uh, I'm just going to read the article right now, just so you can see what, uh, you can hear what the article really entails. Final Fantasy Tactics, Ramza, playable in the City of Final Fantasy. The website for the new Dissidia Final Fantasy for arcades has revealed that characters such as Terra, Cloud, and La uh, Lightning Jesus, my, my throat, will be playable in the upcoming game. One of the characters it didn't mention is someone from one of the si side games, Ramza from Final Fantasy Tactics, who will also be playable. Famitsu reports that Square Enix revealed Ramza during their Dissidia closed conference in Japan today. The version of Ramza included in the game will be designed by Tetsuro Nomura. Unfortunately, no details were announced. The City of Final Fantasy is in development for arcades. The game is being created by Team Ninja, developers of Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. Now, a lot of things that are really interesting about this. We get to see a lot of, like, possibilities. I mean, we felt the same, yeah, I'm sure everyone felt the same, if you're a Smash player, the whole notion of DLC. I mean, we saw we saw that uh, the, the final roster for Smash for Wii U and 3DS, and thought that was pretty neat. There's a lot of characters that I enjoy. There's a lot of char new characters uh, for me to enjoy. But uh, having that sort of idea that characters that aren't that will be included later, or like in this case, characters that aren't going to be included from the main Dissidia game, is exciting. Like it really is exciting. Like think about it. We could see characters that are so obscure, maybe like fan favorites, or I'm not sure if it's fan favorites, but a lot of characters that just like weren't going to appear at all. Like and like think about it, like there could be other ideas. Like since this is a side game, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, we could see characters from God, who knows? Maybe even Chrono Trigger for all we know. Since Square Enix doesn't seem to be doing anything with that that IP anytime soon, having a playable Chrono would just blow everyone's mind and instantly get this game up to a st status that's just ridiculous. Uh, but the whole idea of having side characters appear in this game is a big deal. Uh, we know that in the original Dissidia, a lot of side characters were introduced in like sort of like the uh, up like the. Uh, uh, the sort of like it was like a it kind of looked like a social system back in the PSP days but it wasn't it was like an achievement system and they just give you badges and stuff like that and we saw characters that weren't even going to be like that weren't even announced to come over here uh, come over into the West Indian soon like uh, some of the type 0 characters back then was Agito um, this opens the this opens the floodgates for characters that aren't in the mainline Final Fantasy series for example yeah type 0 HD could have characters just pop into this game we could see likes of Ace or maybe a combination of two maybe three characters combined into one switching on styles mid battle we get to see uh, maybe uh, a game that was on the Wii a long time ago but I enjoyed it personally but it wasn't really that well received it was, um, it was Final Fantasy the Crystal Chronicles the Crystal Bearers or something and I think the main guy I can't remember the main guy's name uh, man I can't remember his name but he was the, the main guy from that game uh, man, I really can't remember his name <laughs> for the life of me. But yeah, like th this opens up like gets for get uh, characters that aren't really in the mainline games. Uh, maybe we could see uh, like Zack because he technically that was a spin-off. Um, like we could see characters that just weren't really thought of as the mainline games, which is interesting, uh, really interesting actually. So. 
what do you guys think? Uh, in the comment in the section, uh, comment in the comment section below. What characters do you want to see in this game now? I mean, it opens up so much possibilities now that it's almost ridiculous. Uh, I'm also very interested in Tetsuya Nomura's uh, interpretation of Ramza, since Ramza was drawn by a different artist, I think. So seeing his interpretation, like we saw that with, um, I think it was Titus or Titus, no, no, who matter, like no matter who you want to call it, he was drawn by a different character, and he, Tetsuya Nomura did his own style on it for Dissidia, the original Dissidia. So, what do you guys think? Uh, good news, bad news? I think it's good news. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully all in that order. Uh, order. I mean, it's up to you, really. Uh, but what do you guys think? I think it's cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Koi51 out.